Eleven clock toilets, Mario. Eleven clock toilets today. That's a janitor's dozen. <sighs> the only thing that gets me through days like this is knowing that I get to come home to you. Oh, very good. <sighs> if only toilets went down as smooth as you. Very good. Here's your mail. Uh, let's see, Bill. Bill. Tickets to the NBA Finals. <laughs> Keep trying, FBI. Keep on trying. Hey, modern super quarterly. Oh, boy, it's a super sort of big tenement issue. Get real. No super has a body like this. It's all airbrush. Oh. Oh, please. That hammer's obviously free. Oh, look at that porcelain goddess. Heaven must be missing a toilet. What is it, Thurgood? It's a toilet. A toilet that never needs plunging. Look here, it says, our patented power flush technology is guaranteed to eliminate even the toughest clog or your money back. Off of in Texas. Miriam, think of all the free time I have if we get this thing. I'll finally be able to finish grad school. Thurgood, that's grade school. Well, either way, I'm gonna be whooping some dodgeball ass. Oh, uh. Yep, junk day. The day that new truckloads come to the junkyard. I gotta go get down there early for the homeless take everything. Those people are greedy. Thurgood, try not to go crazy today. We have enough junk already. Hey, if I had that attitude, I never would have found your 20th anniversary gift. Come on, Sue. Let's go. Hey, it's my little junkies. Y'all ready to go score some junk? Yep, I got the rat bat. And I got the snake rake. All right, then a dumping we will go. Hey, look what I found. Is this good? You see, I said junk, not crap. Hey, Calvin, put those books down. If somebody threw them out, they're not worth reading. Hey, look, I'm a ninja. You see, put those down before you get locked, y'all. On second thought, knock yourself out. Hey, Juicy. Look at this. Let me make a cool go-kart. Uh-uh. I'll sit where I eat. Now, you boys know better than to play in that abandoned refrigerator. It's dangerous. Play in this abandoned water heater. Yeah, now this is a go-kart here. Ooh. Just line it with asbestos, strap on some aerosol cans on the back, light them up, you got yourself a Batmobile. Boy, she's a beaut, ain't she? Driver's side trash bag, rope and pinion steering. A really cool sticker. Hey, Super, what we gonna name her? I know. How about LeBaron? Or Tercel? No, no, no. You don't go giving cars people names. You gotta give it a name that says class. That, that says something about... about you. <laughs> okay, now, before you kids can ride in this, we gotta make sure it's safe for people. Okay, Smokey, you up? <laughs> I'm a crack test dummy. That's crash test dummy, dummy. Uh, uh, okay, uh, but let's hurry before my right stuff wear off. All right. Are you ready, Smokey? Uh, ready. Uh, are we gonna do this or what? Ma, she's here. She's magnifico, Thurgood. Yeah, she's beautiful. Aww. Maybe you can make something out of a hot water heater for us. Sure, what would you like? A hot water heater? <laughs> Super, can we take it out now? <laughs> can we? Yeah, I want to ride it while it still has that new cart smell. Okay, but remember, if you take care of that go-kart, it'll last you a long time. You see this chain? Once it was an instrument of oppression to keep our people down but we can use it to keep those same people from stealing your go-kart. Yeah! Hmm. Here's my license and registration, sir. Get out of the car! Calvin, what are you boys doing? We're playing LAPD, Super. You want to play? Yeah, you could tape and violate my constitutional rights. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you boys have fun. But remember, it's getting near dinner. Don't forget to lock her up. 
We won't. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. Why aren't you using the new junkyard microwave I brought you? Thurgood, it doesn't have a door. Well, that don't stop you from using the bathroom. Look at that. I can't believe those boys. Now, how many times I tell them to lock up their go-kart? Well, I teach them to take care of what they got. Now, how can the boys leave a beautiful vehicle like this unprotected? You know, I think this go-kart needs to be stolen by someone. And like most crimes, I fit the description. Hey, this is kind of fun. Oh, that was great! Man, that was sweet! All right, that's enough. I gotta go to work. All right, here we go. Better put on my goggles. Got it. In 3B. 3B? That's Mrs. Avery! Oh, 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 oh. What makes me do these stupid things? Look at the boy's go kart. I'm lucky to be alive. Look at the boy's go kart. I wish I was dead. Well, it was an accident. I'm sure God will forgive me for destroying it. I just hope he can forgive me for burying the evidence. There, the perfect crime and not one speck of evidence to connect me to it. What? Who would have thought that burying a 50-foot ramp would take all night? Ooh. Now if I can just stay cool and calm and collected, I'll be on Easy Street. Super! Super! They stole it! They stole it! I'm, uh, uh, just, uh, just sickened by the thought of somebody taking a little boy's go-kart. Me too. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Tenants meeting in five minutes. Uh, tenant, hey, wait, 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 what are you doing, what are you doing? Someone must have seen something. You don't really think so, do you? Uh, I mean, this is the project. No one ever sees anything. <laughs> well, I'm gonna find out for myself. Tenants meeting. <laughs> First is stolen go-karts. What's next? Some brute breaking in and trying to have his way with me? I can see it now. Sure, I tried to resist it first, but nothing can stop his filthy love. Next thing I know, I'm cooking his breakfast, and I'm too young to settle down. With all due respect, Mrs. Avery, no blah, blah, blah. Now, a crime's been committed, the crime of grand theft go-karts. I think Super... What? 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 I think Super should head up the investigation. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, why, it'd be an honor. And I won't rest until every lead is completely exhausted. Sanchez, did you see anything last night? No. Well, that's that. The case closed. <laughs> I'll get your card for ya. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had a Trisket in my crawl. You all know Mr. Burkett. I asked him to come help us with the investigation. As a parole officer who eats, drinks, and at every opportunity sleeps with crime, I'll help you any way I can. You got any leads? Well, I've done a profile on our thief. I'm pretty sure the perp is black. I knew it! And between the ages of 9 and 90. Woo! That clears me! All right, this crime scene is hot. Nobody touched anything. These are all clues. Aha! Uh -huh. It appears our suspect left a smashed up 40 bottle. Oh, come on now, that's ridiculous. Isn't that your brand, Mr. Sanchez? Uh, yeah, Sanchez, answer him. 
I might have known. Let's stone it. Hey. Now, now, Miss Avery, we not the police. We have to give him due process. Go on, explain yourself, cartnapper. Okay, so I drink it. Jimmy drinks it too. Ow! Will someone please take them rocks from Miss Avery? No, no, I'm bad, Judge. Let me do the talking. Smokey, did you see anything suspicious last night? Mm, no, uh, but I did hear something. Uh, a rattling noise. Now, at first, I thought it was Deshaun's tubercular death rattle, but I looked over and he was the picture of health. This is crazy. Why are we listening to him? I know what I heard. And uh, me and my team of investigators are going to get to the bottom of this. Uh, just call me Barnaby Jones. Come on, TJ, uh, Hooker. I think we should do what the police do, conduct a door-to-door -door search. Good idea. We'll find the guilty party, even if we have to plant the evidence ourselves. But I want to find the real guilty party. Do you want to follow police procedure or not? Last night, about uh, 8.15, I heard an ungodly howl, like the hounds of hell. Then I heard something that frightened me. Can you describe it? Well... Uh... Oh! That's it? <gasps> That's the sound! Uh, ouchie, ouchie. Well, I heard the crash of some garbage cans, so I looked out my window and saw this fat, ugly excuse for it. I was there on official business. A uh, possum had gotten into the garbage, and I had to pick it all up. And what time was that, Miss Zavery? Well, yeah, I just finished my 5 o'clock bowel movement, so I say it was between 8.10 and 8.15. I'm very regular. I pride myself on that. Mrs. Avery, you are a sweet talker. So, Thurgood, you were out there at 8.15. That's about the same time Haiti Lady heard that howl. You know what that means? It means you... No! Just missed the perk. Yes! Are you sure you didn't see anything, Super? Because it seems kind of weird that... Um, who wants some ice cream? Yeah, let's get some ice cream. Let's look at the evidence. <laughs> I know this is telling me... Something. Oh, uh, you crazy. This isn't saying who did it. <laughs> ah. What the? All right. Travis closed and third good. There's only two things you can do. Confess the truth or pin the blame on somebody else. This is the hardest decision I ever had to make. Who should I pin the blame on? I need to find the perfect scapegoat. Now, who's the most believable? The Canadians? Why would the Canadians want to steal my go-kart? What are you so surprised about? Don't you remember the Alamo? I don't know. Look, I was just as shocked as you, but it's all spelled out here in this incriminating note I found right here in the courtyard. Earlier. And, and uh, I forgot to tell you. Thieves to-do list. One, sneak into lay projects. Two, Steal Calvin's go-kart. Three, return to Canada. Four, buy eggs for Muriel. Uh, 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 must be some kind of code. <laughs> uh, gently, gently, gently. Uh, yeah. That rich. Ah, chocolate milk. Muriel, what are all these women doing in here? It's a special meeting of Women United to save our projects. Oh, but Muriel, it's Saturday. The one day I get to goof off on my own time. We're planning our first annual Projects Week. Isn't that wonderful, Thurgood? Project Week? Now, how long is that going to last? Hmm. Thurgood is seven days of community events celebrating the richness and beauty of the projects. Boring. I think we should have a talent show. Hmm. You hear me snoring over here, don't you? Hmm. Now. I thought I'd capture the week's festivities on tape, kind of like a video journal. Well, Jimmy and I got a video camera you can use. Just mount it back on our ceiling when you're done. Ooh, uh, okay. And of course, the whole week will culminate with the project's wide gumbo cook-off. Didn't I tell you all to stop flapping your gumbo? Hey, sign me up. Everybody knows my stock rocks. My chicken is kicking, and my shiz rip is the shiz knit. And no one can touch your spicy sausage. Yeah, especially with my crabs all over it. 
finally it's gonna be proven once and for all that I am the greatest gumbo chef in all the projects. At last, a peaceful end to this bitter East Coast, West Coast gumbo war. Stupak, you get not dying for And Goody, look what first prize is. The Gumbo Tron 3000. The Gumbo Tron 3000? Muriel, that's the gumbo pot the astronauts use. Shut up, you old bag of dust. I'm practicing for the talent show, so leave me alone. Unless you're one of the judges. Nah, I really need that pot to throw up in. Hey, boys, get away from this pot. Don't poke out it, Juicy. Let Calvin have a sniff. Yeah, what you think? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it makes you hungry, don't it? Give you the munchies, don't it? Hey, Super, what's this? Don't play with that baster, boy. That's the secret to my gumbo. I base my meat first. It looks like the mop you use to mop up the toilet water. Yeah, that's right, but remember, they're not interchangeable. Three days in intensive care taught me that. Hey, Super, can we help? No, that's best left to master bases like myself. Aww. Now run along, run along. I don't want y'all watching me. Now, people, this is only a dress rehearsal. On opening night, you'll have to remember to hold for laughter, applause, and very rude people. Okay, Calvin, you're on. I am the downward spiral of poverty. I am Little Face Johnson. With Kennedy at long last out of the way, I could finally build housing projects to centralize America's poor and disenfranchised. Let me help you get on your feet. <laughs> Mrs. Avery, if you can't remember your part, just say line. Line, 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 or the United States of America. Okay, let's break for lunch. I'm carrying this shoe. Okay, everybody, it's time to sample my soon-to-be mm. prize winning entry into cook-off. Uncle mm. Thurgood's real old-time mm. down-home store-bought yeah. style pure premium gumbo from Concentrate. It's delicious, goody, just like always. It's the only thing you do right. Well, uh, thank you very much. I bet the devil himself couldn't make a better gumbo. You think so? I could ask. Mm, I got to know your recipe. No, no, I don't think so. It's top secret. Is there cayenne pepper in it? I just told you I can't tell you. You better tell me. Cayenne pepper gives me a stroke. <laughs> well, thanks, Mrs. Avery. Now everybody knows it's cayenne in it. But that's all you're going to get out of me. That recipe is safely locked away up here. And trust me, nothing ever gets in or out. And if anybody ever found out about my recipes, I'd have to kill them. Tomato, onion, garlic, what the celery, bacon grease, more bacon grease, and Worcestershire sauce. Leah Parrots, 1985, I should think. Muriel, get my gun. They're good, no. But Muriel, that's my secret recipe that boy is reciting. How do you know what's in it? I don't know. I could just taste it. But it seems to be missing something, don't you think? No, I do not think. Oh, I know. It needs some bay leaves. Three bay leaves. Hey, get away from my gumbo! Silence! Oh. Yeah, much better. <laughs> some apple cider vinegar. A little love and zest. Hmm. Oh. Chocolate box! You're destroying it! Mm, yeah, that's much more complex on the palate. Try it. I think you'll find it in sushi without being recherche. This is the tastiest thing I've had in my mouth all day! Hey, right back at you. Thurgood, it's really exceptional. Mm, you should try it. All right, I'll try it. But I gotta warn y'all, I have the refined taste of an aristocrat. I've had better. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's like there's a house party in my mouth. Ooh. What are y'all looking at? It would be a sin against all that is unholy if you don't enter the contest and crush the super. Crush him like the bug he is. You know you really should. Miriam! Well, he's very talented. Oh, wow! 
Isn't this great, Super? We gonna be in the cook-off together. <laughs> you with me, Sabasa. May the best gumbo win. Yeah, like you got a chance. <laughs> For some hot sauce, gotta have lots of hot sauce. Now, a spoonful of peanut butter. Wait, make a jiff, cause I'm a choosy mother. Huh? Hey, there we go. Yeah, see that third good? If you put your mind to it, you can beat a 10 year old boy. Now for the taste. Oh, mom! It burns! And the law, it burns! It's sticking to the roof of my mouth! God, why, why do you torment me so? And so. To continue the metaphor, if the projects are a living, breathing body, then truly the superintendent is its brain stem. Well, there goes my image award. The saints are good. Run your hair under the water. Kate is a grease file. Why ain't you helping me? I'm a documentary filmmaker. I can't get involved with the subject. I'm dead, Muriel. I'm dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, damn. Ah! Okay, it's out. It's out. Oh, whew. thanks, Muriel. Oh. Hey, where'd you, where'd you get that thing? It's a fire extinguisher. We have them on every wall, you know. Oh, is that what that is? I thought those was jetpack for the upcoming race wall. I think I'm gonna shut this camera off now. Okay, they're good. You got to start from scratch. Forget everything you know. That shouldn't be too hard. Now, I must be one with the gumbo. You are the gumbo. You are the gumbo. I ain't no gumbo. This is crusty, smelly, full of malt liquor, and this gumbo is stupid. Yeah, I know if I'm having this much trouble, Juicy got to be having this much trouble, too. <gasps> so graceful. So effortless. God, he's beautiful. I must destroy him. I know what I'll do. I'll psych him out. Oh, hi, Super. Stop it. Your mind games won't work on me. What? Uh oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Did you come up to help me? Well, I think I helped you enough when I gave you my recipe to use against me. It would mean a lot to me to have your opinion. Uh, of course it would. Remember, I've tasted the best gumbos and money and food Sam's can buy. And it takes a lot to impress Holy Mary Wilson, mother of Motown! What's wrong, Super? Well, it must be the onions. There's no onion in there. Can't you tell just by tasting it? No, I can't, you freak! What? You think you're so smart cooking up here all alone in your Keenan Ivory Tower, but wait till the contest when everybody's watching you, betting on you to fail. That's when you really start to sweat. Of course, you can't handle the pressure of knowing that if you fail at this, you'll have to return to a dead-end life of plunging toilets in. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, great. Now I got to clean that up. You okay, Super? Like I was saying, you got to have nerves of steel. Well, I'm just going to try to have fun. But there is one part of the contest I am worried about. Really? What's that? The artistic interpretation. I think it's my weakest category. You know the worst part, Miriam, is Juicy Gumbo tastes just as good coming up as it does going down. I think you're taking this contest too seriously, Thurgood. Projects Week is supposed to be fun. Muriel, I can't lose this contest. My gumbo is the only reason folks respect me. When the people of this project think of gumbo, they think of me because Thurgood stuff means gumbo. Don't you see? I'm gumbo, damn it! Thurgood! Gumbo's my passion, Muriel. Gumbo's my only love. Now, Thurgood, I'm sure if you think about it, there's something else you love. Muriel, I don't want a 40. I just threw up. I'll get you a glass of water. Muriel, you're so good to me. That's why I like you. Gumbo. Juicy. Oh, I can't sleep. Must get mine off Juicy. So upset, can't use pronouns. Maybe I'll just watch my happy tape.
case of the people versus Orenthal James Simpson. Find the uh. defendant, not... Hi, it's Muriel oh. Stubbs, and this is Projects Week. Muriel taped over my tape? Is there no justice in this world? Well, maybe she didn't tape over Mr. Johnny inciting the crowd. Here we are at the most beautiful part of the projects, the roof, with its majestic sewer gas release pipe and broken air conditioner. Oh, and there's Juicy working on his secret gumbo recipe. Whoa, 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 stop the Bronco. If I watch this tape, I'll find out what's in Juicy's stock, and then I can improve upon it and beat him at his own game. Wait a minute, what am I saying? That's cheating. I'm looking at the other team's playbook. Very good, you better have yourself a talk with the man in the mirror, and you better be brutally honest. Hello, handsome. Now, what should I do? Put that damn tape in already. Okay, you get the popcorn. I'm a reflection, idiot. Not no more. Okay, he fires two shots at Tabasco, and then another shot from behind the greasy bowl. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. But what is it? Wait a minute. Bouillon! Of course! A magic bouillon! Well, you see, it seems a rotisserie has turned because now I have your secret ingredient. And I'm gonna win this contest and reclaim my dignity. And your sanity. Right, good looking out. Uh, hey, Juicy still making that same delicious gumbo? <laughs> you know it's super. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <clears throat> well, here we are on the final day of Projects Week, and what a success it's been. I'm happy to report that this week's turnout was well over 80%. Oh, and I also see the crime was down 80%. What a happy coincidence. Now, before we begin the cook-off, a brief announcement. There's a lost little girl. Cook off! Uh, okay. Here's our host, Walter Burkett. Good afternoon, and welcome to the first annual Hilton Jacobs Gumbo Cook-Off. Sponsored by Ho's Chinese Chow and Chow's Chinese Ho's. An hour later, you'll be hungry for more and dim sum. Okay, now let's meet our contestant. Our first contestant to know a thing or two about soul food. He's from Korea. <laughs> Tell us, Jimmy. Do you cook meat by the pound or from the pound? Hey, I told you, I don't eat dog. <laughs> now, 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 it was just a little racially divisive joke to celebrate our differences. Hola. Hey, Frida Bandito. Our next contestant is Smokey. Now, it says here you used to be a human being. Well, how about that? So what brings you to the contest today? You holding it in my bedroom. Next up, we got Juicy Hudson. I've heard a lot of good things about your stock, boy. Is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to my cardiologist who gave me a bypass instead of an artificial heart. Yeah, thanks for keeping it real, ha, <laughs> yeah. And our last contestant is our own Thurgood. Will you just start the damn cook off, please? Who invented charcoal? Uh, charcoal? Boy, you really are pathetic, aren't you? Uh. After nine events, Thurgood Stubbs has a commanding lead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we come to the final event, which will count for 97% of the total score. Uh. The event, of course, is the actual cooking of the gumbo, Miss Haiti. Let the flames begin. <laughs> Gentlemen, stop looking and start cooking. <laughs> Why they get their stewing done? Let's get our viewing on. Muriel Max Films presents. Song of the South Side. A Muriel Stubbs joint. When people think of urban housing projects,
They think of poverty and despair. But the projects are so much more than that. Don't take my word for it. I think the tenants say it best. What do you like best about the projects? That I'm gonna die soon and get out of here. This place makes me sick. My God, who is that angry bitter old man? The projects are a wonderful place to live, full of kind-hearted folks like me. Yuzi, I just want you to know that this contest is nothing personal, and if I win, I'm gonna still treat you with the same respect I always have. Aw, oh, thanks, Super. I'll do the same if I win. If you win. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you win. You win. <laughs> you win. Now, what do you like best about the projects? The friendships. Basketball. School. The shopping. The proximity to hell. The super. Because he takes care of everybody in the projects. I only entered the contest to be with the super. He's my best friend. Oh. God, he just wants to be my friend. And here I am plotting against him when he put his little clogged heart and soul into this contest. Juicy deserves to win. And as Judy is my judge, Juicy will win. But how? I've got the better stock. Sabotage it, huh? Oh, hello, handsome. You got to add something so stinking, so terrible and foul that it repels everyone who comes near it. But what? Your cologne, Thurgood. Hey, that's a good idea, Thurgood. Thank you. <clears throat> <coughs> That's perfect. Uh -huh. Ah, that's the smell of third good. The smell of defeat. If you'd like to learn more about the projects, visit your local library. Soon, if possible. Now it's time for the judging of the gumbo. Not bad. Mm, not bad. Yeah, bad. Hi. Mmm. Oh, ooh, that's, that's bold and spicy. This tastes as good as the gumbo puttanesca my mama made for my Uncle John's. Now we have one last contest. What are you cooked up for us today, Thurgood? Just a little stew by Thurgood. Take a big bite, Walter. Make sure you get a lot of juice. With pleasure. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, Thurgood, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. I'd like to announce that your gumbo is good, but it seems to have left me temporarily blind. W what should I do? Well, I guess you should say my gumbo is bad. You may also want to induce vomiting and consult your physician. Uh, <clears throat> I have an announcement. Uh, Walter, the crowd is this way. Thurgood stew? Blue! <gasps> now you better announce the winner. And quick, I I'm starting to lose my motor control. And now the moment you all been waiting for. The winner of today's contest is... Well, Juicy, I guess the best man won. Smokey! What? <laughs> Folks, I've got to tell you, this is the best gumbo I've ever tasted. It's downright addictive. I can see. I can see. I also think I can fly. Uh, what is what is your secret? Crack pepper? Mm, close. Well, Smokey, let's see what you won. <laughs> and it's a mobile home. Well, now that's just sad. Well, Juicy, I think you should take the gumbo tron. You deserve it. Aw, uh, I thought we could share it. Yeah, I guess sharing is the right thing to do, huh? Amigos, can I share too? Get lost, Sanchez. Can't you see I'm bonding with Fatso? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm here to requisition uh, Grandmaster Flush the toilet of tomorrow. Fine. Come back tomorrow. Next. Hey, 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 hey. Now, hold on. We both know how this works. I ask for something, you say next. I say, ut, 
we go back and forth a few times. Next, uh, next, uh. So why not just give me the toilet and save us both a lot of trouble? What do you say? Next! Uh, look, I ain't leaving here without my Grandmaster Flush. According to my records, your building doesn't have enough money left in its budget. So what are you saying? That if I get my budget down and raise some money on my own, the Grandmaster Flush is mine? That and next! <laughs> All right, everybody, calm down. Relax, quiet, quiet down. Now, I called this special meeting tonight because I have wonderful news. I personally have arranged with the good people of HUD to install something very special into our building. What is it, Super? Well, I can't tell you right now. It's a surprise. Oh. I like surprises. What is it? No, don't tell us. What is it? No, don't tell us. Maybe it's computers to help us get into college. You want to get into college? You better take up a sport. Didn't you learn nothing from watching Hoop Dreams? Look, all I can tell you is I'm bringing you the future. Is it bleak? I bet it's bleak. Well, could be, could be. He's just going to have to wait and see. <gasps> but the future doesn't come without sacrifices. Sacrifice? Now you're talking my language. I'm not talking about that kind of sacrifice. We need to reduce our expenses which means cutting back on a few things that are standing in the way of progress. Namely, heat, electricity, and running water. No heat, no water? How do you expect us to live that way? Same as we do now. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Great. And mark my words, 1999 will go down as a year the Hilton Jacobs projects entered the 20th century. A whole year early. That sounds good. Oh, Bye. <laughs> they will be so surprised. Figure one way to cut down on the water bill is to just recycle the water we already got. I'm naked and covered in garbage. I have become my father. By installing these little light bulbs, we can save six cents every 35 years. Super, isn't this a little unsafe? Oh, please, nobody ever died from stumbling around a dark hallway. Ah! I broke something. You broke it, you bought it. Ah! Thurgood, how long do we have to live like this? I can't turn on the stove to heat up my hot comb. I can't turn on a light to put on my makeup. It's a good thing it's dark. I probably look a fright. Muriel, you look beautiful in any light. <laughs> ah, don't eat me! Thurgood, really? This nonsense has got to stop. I can't stop now. We haven't saved enough money to buy the toilet yet. What else can we do? We've done everything but sell the building back to HUD. Hey, that gives me an idea. Muriel, turn that off. See there now? I forgot what I was going to do. <laughs> People, I am happy to announce that our plan was a success and we have met our goal. Just from cutting back on electricity? Well, that and I sold some unneeded luxury items back to HUD. Luxury items? Like what? Uh, well, just a few non-essentials like the uh, handicapped access ramp and the lighted exit sign, the smoke detectors, the furnace, the fire escape. Help! Somebody put me out! And uh, the fire extinguishers. Now, everybody, come with me. It's time for your big surprise. We'll put you up, Mr. Sanchez. Keep moving. I want to see the surprise. Yes, yes. All right, all right. Is everybody here? Everybody here? All right, good. Okay, Calvin, drum roll, please. Behold, the only thing greater than myself. burns over 80 percent of my body for a toilet not just any toilet this is the grand master flush but we had no water no electricity i went a whole month without shaving my legs yeah and wasn't it worth it what kind of idiot would put a toilet in an elevator a thinking man's idiot i made it centrally located for everybody's convenience what do we need a communal toilet for we got a perfectly good outhouse on the corner. What? We ain't got no outhouse. Just one more question. How far up your ass do you want my boot? Hey, what are you people rushing me for? The toilet's over there. Oh, 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 oh. 
Greetings. I am the Grand Master Flesh. Yeah. Hey, it talks. <laughs> a talking toilet. I pulled that same con 50 years ago at the San Bernardino County Fair. Where's the midget in the time? Hey, look, it's not a con. It really talks. The seat is a jar. The seat is a jar. It's possessed. I like it. They could have made his voice sound more human. That's nothing, folks. Now get a load of this. Hello, Thugger. Hello, Flushy. Why don't you tell me a little bit about myself? He's the superintendent of the Hilton Jacobs building in the projects. And between naps in the boiler room and watching TV all day, he manages to get his hands down a few toilets. Sorry, girls. He's taken. Isn't that fantastic? And... It's the Xerox machine. Damn, that's pretty good resolution. Ooh. Of course, the best feature of all is this bowl never gets clogged. What if you flush down the gutted entrails of a middle-aged superintendent? It just rinses right away. So what do you say? Should we keep the toilet? I say we got ourselves a house party. <laughs> Batter up. Let me be on top now. You were on top when we stole that pie from Mrs. Avery's window. A pie I don't remember tasting. It's a fastball. High and inside. What the hell in plague on are you kids doing? Hi, Super. Have you seen Calvin? What'd I tell y'all about smashing light bulbs? You kids are the reason I don't sweep up broken glass. What are you doing inside on a beautiful hot muggy summer day anyway? We got nothing to do. Well, when I was a boy, we had plenty to do. Ain't there any albino kids you and your friends can go pick on? Or don't we do that anymore? All of our friends went to camp. So why ain't you with them? The Black to Nature Fund said we weren't underprivileged enough. What? You're not, under, not underprivileged enough? You live in this rundown fire trap. It ain't no heat, no water. Why, it's classic neglect. We gonna go down to the Black to Nature Fund and teach them about taking care of kids. You in there. I demand attention. The registration for Special Olympics is to the right. What the? Do I look like an athlete to you? I am the superintendent of the Hilton Jacob Project, and I demand to know why these boys can't go to your camp. All participating children were sponsored by their own communities. Now, if you want to, you can raise the money and send these boys yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. While we're at it, we could just uh, give them some hugs and kisses and encouragement, too, right? Help build up the self-esteem. I like a hug. Shut your pie hole, stupid. I'm trying to help you. Please, can't we do something for these kids? Look how sad they are. I'll have you know, sir, I'm calling the authorities. Finally. Now, we're getting somewhere. So after an all-night discussion with the social service director and detective Kevin Flagg, whom thankfully I went to high school with, I'm urging my community to help send these boys to camp. <laughs> now, now, look, I've decided that a courtyard carnival is the best way to raise money. A carnival? Oh, what a wonderful idea. Yeah, yeah, now we're gonna need some booths. Send a suggestion. I got a show off our moneymaker. Well, come on with it. Keep your eye on the queen and not in between. Don't get lost in my rhyme or you lose every time. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Now, does anyone have any ideas that are not insane? Ooh, ooh, I got one. Or illegal. Oh. I can be a gypsy fortune teller, or you can all get cancer. All right, one gypsy fortune teller. And I'll be the clown making children laugh, as I am in lie. Now that's the spirit. Help send us kids to camp. Guess the fat man's weight. One dollar. Uh, Fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah, come on, that, that, that's cold. Nobody wears that much. A thousand? See the hideous freak of nature. Not me. In there. Shouldn't you be holding a pencil or something? I will, as soon as my arms stop doing this. Welcome to Mr. Stubbs Wild Ride. Keep your hands and feet inside the drum at all times. And away we go. So, Muriel, uh, 
proud we do. Well, let's see. Provided we settle out of court all claims against Mr. Stubbs' wild ride, then I'd say, you boys are going to camp. Yay! All right, you heard it, boys. Now you meet me here, right here, with all your gear. Let's check the bus schedule. Give me it. All right, 6 a.m. a week ago. A week ago? Uh, oh, my, he's right. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have held that carnival over for an extra week, kids. My bad. I'm sorry, boys. But look on the bright side. With a South story like this, you'll be a shoo-in for next year's camp. Next year. <laughs> I've heard that before. Thurgood, isn't there anything you can do? <sighs> Come on, Juicy. We might as well go to the library and read some books. Library? You know what you're going to be doing if you go to the library? You're going to be giving up. Now, where would I be right now if I ran to a book every time I faced a problem? I wouldn't be a super in the projects, i tell you that much. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna take y'all camping myself. You mean it? You're really gonna take us camping? You bet, because if there's one thing I know, is God helps those who, uh, um, God, uh, God will help those. Mira, what is it that God helps? Those who help themselves. You're damn right. And you won't find that in no book. Hmm. You're all packed there, good. You remember my medication? This is your medication. You got your blood pressure medicine, your nitro, your insulin, your milk of magnesia, your calpectate. Well, where's my contact, my contracts, and my Xantex for my reflux? In your backpack with your X-Lax. Tic-tac. Fanny pack. Give the dog a bone. This old man is leaving home. <laughs> up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. I'm a fiercely proud black male. I'm a fiercely proud black male. Camping. Move it out. Okay, troops. Make camp. What? In, In the, the courtyard? courtyard? That's right. Welcome to the great outdoors. You said we were going to the wilderness. You said we were going to rough it. This is outdoors at night in the project. You can't get no rougher than that. Oh. <laughs> See that? Courtyard camping ain't so bad. Well, it ain't nature. How we gonna see the stars? Most days we can't even see the sun. Yeah, you promised us adventure. Now, now, you can't have any wilderness adventure without Indian scout name. I wanna be Big Chief Redskin. Me stop him, pale face. Hey, Calvin, you got to respect the dignity of our Native American brothers by choosing an authentic Indian name. Authentic. I'll be Chief Grand Cherokee fully loaded. I'll be Little Big Horny. Can I be Pocahontas? If you must, boy. Now, to make your final knot, hold one end of the rope with your left hand and loop the right end over three times. Now, pull tight. Like this, Mr. Paquette? Perfect. Ah, uh, you know, I think you have a career ahead of you in the exciting world of law enforcement and or terrorism. See him struggle? It just got tighter, didn't it? Walter, untie that boy, please. Super, you promised us adventure. We wanted to go hiking and see animals and go fishing. Well, fine, let's go fishing. You can't go fishing in the projects. Uh, that's where you're wrong. Boys, grab your poles and let's go to the fishing hole. Well, here we are at the old fishing hole. Aren't we having a good time? Oh, man, there ain't no fish down there. All right, now, now, maybe if you just drop your lines in, you'll find something. Right, Jimmy? Hey, it's a fish hole, ain't it? Hey, I think I got something. Fish sticks? You bet. I think if you throw your line in that cove over there, you'll find a nice school of tater tots. Oh, man. This is whack. See, I told y'all camping would be fun. This ain't camping. This is homelessness. Yeah. If we gotta be cold, damp, and hungry, we might as well be in our apartments. Hey, hey, come on now. Wait, don't go inside yet, boys. There's still plenty more outdoor adventure to be had. Like what? Well, uh, well, we could try to, uh, find a bird. Mm. Well, fine. Go inside. But night falls here, and that's the only time that Red Moly comes out. Who's Red Moly? Oh, no, not Red Moly. They ain't old enough for Red Moly. We're 
you're old enough. Who's Red Moly? If you're too girly to handle camping, you cannot handle a ghost story as scary as Red Moly. Oh. No, they're good. They'll be their pants. We won't be our pants. Will we, Juicy? Jimmy, throw another tire on the fire. Oh, this fire is making me sleepy. Don't ever fall asleep by a tire fire, boy. You'll never wake up. Okay, the campfire's burned down to the steel building. Time for s'mores. Mm. 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 No, 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 don't roast the whole bag. Oh. No, no, don't put the melted plastic in your... Oh! <laughs> Juicy skin's like a girl. <laughs> you want to know? Since you're with Chelsea all the time... You take that back! Calvin and Chelsea sitting in the tree. Shut up! K-I-S-S-I-N-G. See what you did? Now, now, Calvin, being in love is nothing to be ashamed of. Took me 23 years of marriage to learn that. I'm not in love with her. Everybody falls in love sometime, little bro. Mr. Sanchez here has a crush on his voice therapist. Shut up! Sanchez and, and voice therapist sitting in a tree. tree. See what you did? Now can we hear about Red Moly? Not until we have us a good old-fashioned campsite sing-along. Walter, would you like to lead us off? The girl is pretty wild now. The girl's a super freak. I'd really like to taste... Walter! Uh... Kumbaya, my lord of Ra. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord of Ra. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord of Ra. Kumbaya. Oh, Lord. Kumbaya. Have no gift to bring. Kumbaya. You promised to tell us about Red Moly. Are you sure you can handle that story? You know, Red Moly is a very scary man. Oh, like Coach Kettlebrew? No, oh, he's a dangerous madman who lures little kids into his basement. Oh, like Coach Price? No, no, no. This man is the bastard son of a hundred maniacs. Very good. I told you about my childhood in complete confidence. Not you, Walter. It was on a night like this. Did some scary projects just like this when Red Moly killed the camper repeatedly. So they locked him up. Where? Juvie or one of them punk boot camps? I hear the food's way better at Juvie. Uh, this ain't working. I think it's time for Red Moly to make a special appearance. Walter, embellish. Red Moly was the meanest, most evilest maniac anyone ever saw. How did Red Moly get his name? from his mother, Mom's Moly. Oh. And it was on a night like this, when the moon was full, that Red Moly would pounce. That Red Moly would jump out of the bushes and scare children. That Red Moly would stop taking a leak and hit his cue. What? Ah! Okay, you can stop screaming now. No, I can't. I'm caught in my zipper. Three at last. Did you see that Calvin run? Did, did you see that juicy jiggle? Yeah. Can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they, when they come back. <laughs> All right, boys, you can come on back now. We're just funning. <laughs> yeah. Come on back, boys. Boys? You hear that, Muriel? Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. The phone hasn't rung all day. I don't have no tenants calling me up and complaining about their clogged up toilets. I think somebody owes somebody an apology. Thurgood, I supported the idea of the Grand Master Flush. I'm waiting. Th I'm sorry. That's okay, Muriel. You weren't the only non-believer. Hud didn't want to give it to me either. Nerve of them. And they got the audacity to call themselves the Help Us Department. Hud stands for the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Housing and Urban Development? That would be H-A-U-D. 
Look, don't be ignorant, Muriel. Do you really think the government of the USOA would leave out a hand? Now, excuse me while I write HUD an angry letter. Here is HUD. <clears throat> How are you? I am fine. But you are not so fine. If you really want to help the little people, and I don't mean the Project Elves that put clean socks and underwear in my drawer while I'm sleeping. Project Elves? I put... Muriel! Writing. It's time you see to it that the basic human needs like freedom, equality, and talking toilets are made available to everyone. Especially talking toilets. Sign, your humble servant, Thurgood O. Stubbs, Esquire. Thurgood, are you sure? Still writing. See it with lick, cause a kiss don't stick. Ooh. Shouldn't you be at work? No, I should not. The Grandmaster Flush has handled all my duties, freeing up my time for loftier pursuits like this. I've invented a machine that browns bread by heating it. You mean like a toaster? Where were you three days ago? Thurgood, stop playing with your 40. Uh -huh. Goody, what's the matter? I'm bored. Bored out of my mind. Ain't nothing to do, Mary. There's plenty to do. Why don't you go ride bikes with Calvin? I can't. We're not friends this week. You know, Thurgood, maybe the Grandmaster Flush could use a checkup. Hey, that's not a bad idea at all. It's been getting a lot of use. I'm sure it could use some maintenance. Last call for Avery Party of what? For a number two? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do you have a reservation? What? And Andrew Jackson, you can trade your Johnson. Look, this is a toilet, not a country club. I can get into a toilet. Towel? Uh, cologne? Your VCR? I think not. Breath freshener? What are those? Tic Tacs? Mm, okay. Get out of here, you tackhead! Finally, I can get my hands back into the toilet where they belong. All systems functional. No further maintenance required. Ever. Huh? Hey, something's got to be wrong with this thing. Let me take a look here. Please do not touch my lid. You have more germs under your fingernails than I have around my entire rim. What? Look, I'm not going to stand here and take any of your lid. Well, you are certainly not going to sit, you filthy, filthy man. Why, you? If you were in the ladies' room, I'd take you outside. But what's this? Your resume. You're going to need it. <laughs> I'm not going to need any. Oh, it's quilted. Toilet, Thurgood. Did it require lots of your skilled maintenance? The toilet was fine. Everything's fine. Fine, 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 fine. You don't like that toilet, do you? Mm. If you don't like it, you can say so. I hate it. I hate it, hate, hate, hate it, hate, hate, hate it. But why? It's out to get me, that's why. It's not out to get you. It's here to make your life easier. That toilet's got your backside. That toilet is putting me out of a job, Muriel. Well, it's only a toilet. If you don't want it here, just go down to HUD and tell them to take it back. Muriel! Muriel! That's perfect! God, woman, if you were my wife, I'd kiss you. You listen up and you listen good. I want you to call your flunkies and have them hightail it down to my building and get rid of that lousy, stinking latrine. Latrine? Oh, Lord, what has my sister done now? I ain't talking about your sister. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that Grand Bastard Flush. I want it out! The Grand Master Flush has proven itself to be extremely cost-efficient. Oh, please. I'm ten times more efficient than that thing. And I can prove it, too. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Hmm. I know. An equal contest. Man versus machine. If I win, the toilet goes. And if you lose, it's next door for you. Well, what's next door? Unemployment. <laughs> next! I got to win this contest, Muriel. I can't lose my job. I'm too old to start from the bottom again. Thurgood, this is the only job you've ever had. What about the time I worked for the highway department? Community service doesn't count. Welcome to the Man vs. Machine Contest. Today's competition is brought to you by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. HUD, the poor people people. Now, let's get ready to root up! Hey! <laughs> 
In this corner, at 132 pounds dripping wet, the lean, mean porcelain machine, the great white host, Grand Master Flush. <laughs> and in this corner, with a blood pressure of 240 over 120 and a heart the size of three men, our very own overweight and out of shape, Thurgood Stubb. <laughs> Uh, I tried to sell you, Thurgood, but they ain't buying. Could you please start the contest? All right. We will begin the contest with the clog and other toilets. We've asked the tenants to bring their most clog-worthy items. Mrs. Avery? Cloth diapers. You can't prove they're mine. My weight loss chart. My beloved Esperanza. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. We'll never wear these clothes again. And lastly, though they were very expensive to obtain, some compromising photographs of yours truly, along with the negatives. Now remember, the fastest to declog keeps his job. Thurgood, you ready? Ready to kick some toilet butt. Then unclog! I win. Game. Set. Light a match. <sighs> Next! Super! <laughs> I just don't understand it. I've never met a toilet I couldn't lick. Thurgood, don't give up. Oh, there's no sense in trying to cheer me up. I'm a loser. I know, but I really need you to flush down those pictures. Well, I'm surprised it took this long for a toilet to outsmart him. Yeah, loser! <laughs> loser! You'll probably want to leave Hilton Jacobs now. <laughs> and don't let the broken door hit you on the way out. Let's go home and party like it's 1999. Go, go toilet, toilet, go toilet, toilet go toilet, toilet, go toilet. Very good, are you okay? Miriam, I just see this as a minor rule block on the path of my crusade. And if sobriety checkpoints have taught me anything, it's best to just plow right through. But what will you do? You've lost your job. Ah, oh, now, Muriel, Hood can't just let me go. After all the years of faithful service I've given them? Hell no! No, I'm sure they'll find a position that lets me keep my dignity. Breath mint? Yeah, you could use some deodorant, too. <laughs> well, well, what's going on here? A guy passes out for three days and suddenly he's replaced? This is an outrage. Well, I, I won't stand for it. Great, now I gotta clean that up. Okay, Thurgood. I'm ready to be flushed and cleaned. What? Now, now. It's just till I can think of something more degrading. Well, all right, but don't you go getting all hoity toilet with me. I am the superintendent of this building. You were the superintendent. Now you're the washroom attendant. Look, you may have taken my job, but you can never take my dignity. Now move your ball cock if you want me to wipe your rim. I'm such a loser, Muriel. Thurgood, you are not a loser. Look around you. Wait! Stop. Come with me. Thurgood, look at these. Yeah, my trophy. So what? What did you win this one for? Super of the year. Uh-huh. And this one? Well, that's my BM for Lifetime Achievement in Custodial Arts. That's right. And what's on top? Little man with a plunger. That's right, a man, not a machine, not a space-age toilet, but a man, my man. Yeah, and he's a tough little mother, too. Oh, oh his little head fell off. Thurgood, remember, it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that determines your altitude. Mira, you don't see any trophies for comprehension here. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you're only as good as you think you are. Oh. And you're good. You think you're good. Yeah. But you're going to have to accept that that toilet's here to stay. But remember one thing. Even though that toilet took your job, it can never take what's inside of you. Yeah. It can't take what's inside of me. Wait. Yes, it can. In fact, it must. Uh, Master Flush, do you mind if I come in and have a minute, would you? Hello, Thurgood. 
Oh, so you recognize my voice, huh? Not exactly. Now, what is it you wanted to talk about? Well, I just want to apologize for my behavior yesterday. I was uh, out of control and out of line. Apology accepted. I guess you deserve a little more respect. Oh, by the way, my urinal cake needs to be replaced. Yeah, I got your new squirt cake right here, but I just wanted to clear up, you know, all the, the miscommunication we've been having about my bad mood. I've been in a bad mood, basically, because I've been taking a lot of crap from the tenants. But, hey, <laughs> who am I talking to, right? I don't understand. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. I mean, we both kind of get dumped on by the tenants, me figuratively, and you, uh, the opposite of figuratively. Thurgood, you're not making any sense. Well, I just mean, you know, people come in here and they pull down their pants and their drawers and they climb up on top of you and... And? They do what? Oh my God, that's disgusting! Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe people do that to me. How did I fall so short of my dream? Now there, there, flushy, flushy. It's all right. Here you go. <laughs> I wanted to be a figure of beauty. Don't worry, don't worry. It's gonna be all right. Now tell you what, I got a great idea. Somebody stole a toilet. Now, now, calm down. Your John didn't get Jack. Ooh, oh, can I make a wish? Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's all a commotion. Super turned our toilet into a fountain. You mean it's not in the elevator anymore? Word to the wise, take the stairs. What kind of idiot turns a toilet into a fountain? An idiot with the mind of a child. Oh, that, that is so nice. I guess now we know once and for all that man is better than machine. See that? Oh, that's that's right. Right. That's a Very good Stubbs Memorial Fountain. Memorial. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah, isn't it great? But wait till you see the best part. <gasps> Look at that. This color is changing, girl. Now, what the hell makes blue water turn green? My bad. Morning, boys. LL Cool J, Cool Leo, Cool Mo D. It's feeding time. And we'll pour a little on the side for the notorious B I R D. Baby, baby! Don't it just break your heart when you drop them in the boiling water? Hey, get out of here. This ain't no damn Popeye's going to get. <laughs> All right, here. <laughs> what the hell, DeBard? Rasta man, what's going on up here? I'm tending to my gun. <clears throat> garden. Hmm. You know, I never even knew it was a garden plot up here. Too damn bad this whole place had to go to pot like this. Ah, if only whole place had gotten to pot. You know, folks could have a real garden up here. Plant some nice flowers and vegetables. Yeah, flowers and vegetables. Now, how are we gonna get rid of this stuff? Uh, we could burn it. Hey, there you go. Yeah, bless your brother. Uh, quiet down, please, if you will. Please, yes. Yeah, all right, thank you. Earlier today, I was on the roof burning some garbage with the roster mine, and I had this idea. Well, actually, the idea belonged to the giant donkey jaws that was hovering in the sky above me. Mm-hmm. Both I and donkey jaws thought it would be a great idea to start a community garden on the rooftop. Any questions? Yes. Yeah. What does donkey jaws look like? Hey, we ain't talking about donkey jaws. That's not important. Well, if donkey jaws loves us, why is there so much evil in the world? Can we get off donkey jaws, please? <laughs> now think about it. Wouldn't it be nice to grow our own produce? I'm good with a hoe. And he's a good gardener, too. <laughs> All right, now you're catching on. We're a community. We should be self-reliant. Can we still keep our government handouts? Naturally. Then self-reliant we be. And so may this garden thrive. Not just this year, but as long as our children and our children's children and our children's children's children shall live in this housing project. Amen. Now let us thank God with a moment of silence. Oh, spirit of the dead, bring life to this garden. May our roots suck strength 
from the depths of hell is... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What kind of blessing was that? Hell, we got kids here, damn it! Tell me, tell me, tell me! Now see what you did? You interrupted me, blessing. Why are you prayer hitting? Because I'm the boss. This is my community garden for everybody. We'll call you when we dedicate a dumpster. Doesn't anyone here speak English? Uh. Oh, it feels so good to get back to the soil. What are you gonna plant, Goody? Fine. Gonna plant a grape fine. Mm, not much longer till I have wine, baby. Ooh. Thurgood, are you seeing the donkey jaws again? Huh? What? Yuzi, what are you doing? Planting the dubs. You can't plant no m and M. Ooh, I wanna grow candy! Juicy, don't listen to him. You can do anything if you really believe it. You mean I could be thin? Now, do you really believe that? No, nah, I'll go plant some Twinkies, too! No. <laughs> <laughs> Back off, Sanchez! Hey! Whoa, hey, Miss Zavis, stop shooting at Sanchez! He's planting this tobacco on my land! Well, you're just digging a big hole. At least I'm planting something. I'm planting something. Me. Sanchez, you know better than to plant on Miss Zavis' grave. Where are we going to dance? Oh, you want to dance? Dance! Oh! 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 People, people! What's all the trouble here? Hey, beat it, Haiti lady. I've got everything under control. Haiti lady, thank goodness you here. I need you to put a whammy on Sanchez. Again? Wasn't his throat enough? Hey. Oh, please. Only magic she got is magic shave, and clearly that don't work either. <laughs> no, no, she has voodoo. I didn't get this throat by chance. I have the power, and I'll prove it. You will both die in the future. Stick of work in me. I'm done. What kind of pointless curse is that? You might as well just curse the projects and make everybody poor. Thurgood, no! Oh, this is nuts. Why is everyone listening to that old bag anyway? I'm the one in charge here. <laughs> oh, look at my little babies. Gucci, Gucci, goo. Where's little great plan? There's a little great plan. Where's little great plan? There's a little great plan. Where's a little great plan? There. Where's a little great plan? What on earth, wind and fire? No! My children! My children! The fruit of my seed! Gone, all gone! Huh? What the? Hey, what's this? Aha! I should have known. Hey, hey, put that down. And as long as you're pulling up roots, you can leave. This weed killed my wine grapes. It sucked the booms right out of my farm. You're no farmer. The only thing you can grow is fat and stupid. Oh! Oh! Ramoli! Oh. Josie! Josie, come back! No! I'm gonna run and run until I can't run no more! Okay, I'm done. Josie, listen to me. Didn't Red Molly look an awful lot like Super? Yeah, he was hideous. And what did he smell like? More liquor and funk. It was the Super. That's right! First, he takes us on his stupid camping trip. Then he scares the s'mores out of us. I say we go back there and scare him. Well, Red Molly's back there. So are Graham Crackers. Rachel. Do you think something could have happened to those boys? Well, I hope not. But it's not like the earth's gonna open up and swallow them whole. <laughs> Son of a... Calvin! Where are you? Get off! Where are we? Let's see. I was gonna share, Rob. Now there's nothing to worry about. This is a perfectly safe neighborhood. <laughs> Shut up! You know, I think we ought to go look around for him. You know, maybe ask around a little bit. Drag the lake. Sanchez, I ain't giving up on those boys yet. I'm an optimist. 
So you consider the boys half dead. I see the boys as half alive. Now let's move out. Come on, boys. Fun is fun, but it's time to come back to camp. Look, they're good. An open manhole. You know what that means? Yeah. It means the boys could fall in. No! There. You prevented one disaster at least. Okay. Why don't we split up into teams? I'll go with Sanchez. He needs a brother to go with him in this neighborhood. But, but he ain't black. Just let him go. Great. Juicy, that box was sitting in sewer water. Do you bod? I'm eating. Juicy, throw those out. Oh, all right. Oh, Rod! What are they doing so far from the projects? Maybe they lost too and trying to find their way home. Hey, I bet they'll take us right back to Hilton Jacobs. I don't think they'll support our weight. We're not going to ride them, stupid. Stupid is a very hurtful word. Come on, Juicy. Let's go. <laughs> I'm really worried, Walter. What if we never find those boys? I tell you, I can kiss soup of the year goodbye, that's for sure. The police to help. I don't trust no police stations. Brothers check in, but they don't check out. Now, calm down, Thurgood. The police have been our friends since 1991. You, you let me handle this. May I help you? We took some boys on a make-believe camping trip, and uh, we, we may have killed them. Walter, no! No, that's not what happened, officer. What's wrong with you, Walter? Look, we like to report some missing kids. That's it, some missing kids. Yeah, that sounds better. When's the last time you saw them? We last saw them running down the street after Red Moly scared the urine out of them. Who's Red Moly? Oh, he's a serial killer. Oh, well, actually, he's me. <laughs> you're a serial killer? No, 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 no. Red Moly is a serial killer. And you're Red Moly? Yes. Uh... What's that over there? <laughs> Can you put us out, please? <laughs> Things will kill you. Ah, there's no proven link between cigarettes and death. Calvin, I hope we don't die down here. I've never even kissed a girl. Look at me, I'm 10 and I don't even have any kids. Yeah, but... Juicy, don't worry. The rats know where they're going. I thought you said rats were smart. They are. See? They're running from that giant ball of burning sewer gas. Why are we running from that giant ball of burning sewer gas? Calvert? have a very bad uh, hangover. Smokey? Welcome to my Fortress of Squalitude, or as we like to call it, the happiest place on Earth. But, but where are my manners? Uh, Babs, Deshaun? Take our guest Babs to their rooms. We don't have any bags. No, that's okay, we don't have any rooms. So, what uh, brings you to Crack We were camping. Yeah, it was supposed to be an adventure. And it turned out to be nothing. Oh, really? Well, what happened? Well, all we did was get chased by a monster, fall into a sewer with a million rats, escape a giant fireball, and discover a subterranean civilization of mysterious sewer people. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the crack residue clouding my head, but wasn't that an adventure? Hey, you're right. We did have an adventure. A great adventure. You know, Smokey, Everyone thinks you're crazy, but you're really pretty smart. You uh, are. Thank you, Mrs. Roosevelt. And uh, may I add, you, you never looked lovelier. Uh, 
I think it's time to go. Say no more. This secret tunnel will lead you directly to the one you call Super. It comes up right behind Super's VCR. Won't you come with us? Alas, I cannot. For in your world, I am an outcast. But here, I am a king. And this is my kingdom. And uh, that's the gross national product. Let's face it, we just gonna have to ask the tenants for help. Okay, uh, let's work on our alibis. Now, I find the simplest explanation is the best. The fat kid ate the skinny one. Case closed. That's crazy. I'm not gonna tell that ridiculous story. So the 30 ninjas had us surrounded. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them jumped in front of me in a real mean stance. And Muriel, I said, ninja, please. Ninja, please, indeed. Very good. What is this nonsense? And where are the boys? All right, all right. If you must know, I'll tell you the truth. The fat kid ate the skinny kid. Case closed. Hi, everybody. Praise God, he's bulimic. Where have you boys been? Now, Muriel, it's not important where the boys have been or who almost snuffed out their all too brief lives. Yeah, what's important is that Super promised us a great adventure, and that's what we got. Exactly. I knew camping would build their self-esteem. Yeah, like when we fell down the sewer and the fireball almost... Pie-ho, pie-ho. Well, I'm just glad all my boys are home, safe and sound. Huh. Where are the two others? What was with you? Uh, we're never gonna find our way out of here. I need a smoke. Hey, everybody. I got something to see. Everybody quiet down. Thurgood's gonna say something stupid and I wanna hear. Yeah, thanks a lot, BB. Sit your ass down. All right, now listen up. It's about the go-kart. At go-kart, I remind you that I built for two underprivileged boys, giving selfishly of my time, as I am wont to do from time to time. For I believe that the children are our future. Don't <laughs> say another word. I and my crack team of investigators have at long last solved the case of the bull-guarded go-kart. Please! Smoke it! I was just gonna... Please! All right? Now only be semi-lucid for a short period of time. It was two nights ago. I was closing up shop. Excuse me, we closed. That was when I heard the mysterious rattle. What was it? My go-kart? Tell me! Maybe you should ask them. Okay, okay. BB and I went out walking. We saw the go-kart. We couldn't resist. We were just trying someplace different. You know, to spice it up. Okay, so we loosened a couple of nuts. But we didn't take the go-kart. It was still there when we left. Oh, oh, I know. Oh. Baby, how could you do that? I'm double jointed. But that doesn't explain why the go-kart is missing. Well, maybe Haiti Lady can. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Starbucks. Ice chai latte, anyone? Not so fast, Haiti Lady. If that is your real name. Of course, that's not my real name. I tell you people every day. It's Garcel. Uh-huh. I see you changed your name. Care to change your story? Okay, okay. I took the go-kart. But only to hell and back. So the rattling was the bones of the eternally damned? Possibly. What do you think, Mrs. Avery? <laughs> of course you can't talk. Because you're Mrs. Avery, old lady, didn't you wear I don't wear dentures. I don't know what you're talking about. What? All right, you got me. But I ain't going down alone. I'm taking others with me. And there were plenty of others. Of the investigation. I know, and I'm happy to announce we're this close to cracking it. For 
but you did it! Now, now, we, we all put the go-kart right back where we found it. Nobody got hurt. You people should be ashamed. Uh, wait, there is another. Yes, yes there, there is. is. Muriel? It was such a lovely night for a drive, I just took it for an itsy little spin. <laughs> I may have snapped the MacPherson struts, but the differential was shot when I found it. But two, Muriel. But two. I can't believe you people. Your selfishness has cost everyone a go-kart. Your recklessness almost cost me my life going over a 50-foot jump, and your carelessness destroyed the friendship of two boys. 50-foot jump? What 50-foot jump? Uh, <laughs> looks like we all took it. Isn't that something? <laughs> Hey, I thought we took all your stones away from you, Mrs. Avery. I can pass them as quick as you can take them. I can't believe it was you, Super. I know, I know, and I'm sorry, Calvin. You too, Juicy. I lied and that was wrong. But there's one thing you gotta understand. I didn't think I was gonna get caught. You all hear me, right? Yeah. 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 We didn't think we'd get caught either. Yeah. <laughs> you boys understand when you get older, there's something that comes with maturity. True that, true that. Hey, who wants to ride in the new go-kart? I got shotgun! No! I got shotgun! I know I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Juicy, I'm sorry I accused you of stealing the go-kart. Can you ever forgive me? I already have. I'm just glad I don't have to be a maggot. Man, grown-ups. Promise me we'll never get old. Well, the statistics are in our favor. <laughs> <laughs>